Extreme unusual weather mm -hmm. going on, including yeah. our neck of the woods, where it's usually not anywhere near this hall. Exactly. I want to show you the smoke that's moved through the Skamani area. Check this out. Here is the time lapse from this morning. This is just amazing. I've moved the camera around a little bit this afternoon. You can't even see the skyline. It's so much smoke in the area. Again, I want to show you from space. We have several different ways to look at the smoke. This is the visible satellite, and you can see it just drifting. It looks like one big cloud moving from southwest Oregon. You can see the fire here near the bend area just pluming up those big, large pyrocumulus clouds moving through the area. You can see again the smoke is moving from the south, which brings us smoke into our area. This is NASA's image taken from space, and you can again see the plume of smoke from southwest just pushing through the area. So it is very smoky out there. We still have that air quality alert in effect until 6 o'clock tomorrow, so we will be dealing with smoky size again. We started to see some relief by the middle of the week. Air quality alert currently in effect for the entire Pacific Northwest. The whole state of Washington, parts of Idaho, as well as Montana. So we are not the only ones dealing with the poor air quality. Currently, 90 degrees in Portland. I think we won't get much warmer than this due to the smoke. We were supposed to be about 5 to even 7 degrees warmer than this. But the smoke has really kept us quite a bit cooler. A little bit of winds out there northwest, 7 miles per hour. Check out the temperatures out along the beaches, though. 84 degrees. Degrees in Long Beach, 82 in Astoria, upper 60s towards Cannon Beach. Beautiful in Lincoln City at 72 and 81 degrees in Tillamook. Metro area, low 90s, Hillsborough, Forest Grove, Beaverton, 86 degrees for West Lynn. Currently downtown, 89 degrees, low 90s, Vancouver, 93 in Battleground, 90 in Washougal. It's warm through the gorge, so not only are they dealing with the smoke, but the heat, 88 degrees in Cascade Locks, 92 in Hood River, 94 degrees for the Dalles. Eastern Oregon is warm as as well, 98 towards John Day and upper 90s in Prineville. Salem I-5 corridor, very warm conditions, Albany 90 in Corvallis, upper 80s for Eugene. Here's our weather headlines for tonight. So another warm and smoky evening. It's going to be hot again tomorrow and in the 90s. Increased fire danger continues today and tomorrow as well. Dry and unstable and tomorrow again the smoky conditions continue. We're going to have to wait a few more days before we get the system that it's going to push it out of our area. Heat advisory remains in effect through tomorrow. Temperatures today in the 90s, overnight lows into the only the 60s and 70s. Not a lot of relief overnight. Red flag warning, high fire danger, hot and dry conditions up and down the I-5 corridor. Relative humidity is between 15 to 30 percent. So if something sparks, it can spread very quickly. Check out the Doppler radar. So. Again, it's a little bit deceiving with the smoke. It's not actually the clouds. That's just the smoke lingering over our area. We have high pressure over us. I want to zoom in here. Look how interesting this is. You can pick up the very thick smoke. The radar picks up uh, things in our sky that's very thick, like raindrops. But this time, it's the smoke plume, so you can see it moving through our area. So rain and cloud forecast for tonight. We'll see a few clouds moving in along the coast. Mostly clear skies for tomorrow. I think the main issue we're dealing with in our skies are the clouds. Now, Tuesday night into Wednesday, we'll start to see a little bit of changes, but especially Wednesday, we could see some more pop up thunderstorms coming from our south. That could create another round of issues, but also possibly some rain, so it'll cool us down. But looking at our forecast for tonight, temperatures upper 60s, warm overnight, hazy conditions. Tomorrow morning, a warm start to the day, low 70s. Tomorrow afternoon, still going to be in the 90s. Temperatures tomorrow across the region, mid 70s along the coast, triple digits, Vancouver, Hood River, the Dalles. Next seven days, again, Today and tomorrow, I think, will be our warmest days, cooling down Wednesday, mild Thursday and Friday. We get a bit of a break. These days are so strange because it starts out warm and yeah. just, it just keeps going and going and, and going. It's a filtered sunlight, mm -hmm. so it is kind of weird. The sky is orange. Yeah, it is kind of weird and eerie. So hopefully, I think we'll start to get that smoke out of our area and be back to normal. Looking yeah, forward nice. to that. Yeah. Thanks, Claire. And stay